Hey guys, I hope you're well and welcome back to today's video. For today's video, I am doing a really, really chill video. We're just going to do a get ready with me. I've got a few questions I asked over on my Instagram for. If you do want to get involved and do follow my Instagram, I do ask a lot of questions about YouTube and content you want to see. So my Instagram is in the description box. It's just Millie M. Murphy. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to answer loads of your questions. I also did ask friends and family just so I had a few extra questions to ask. But we're just going to sit and we're going to get ready. We're going to do our makeup to sit in our bedrooms and living room. Let's get started. I also have a really exciting product to talk about at the end of the video. It was gifted to me, but I'm very, very, very excited to try them. First of all, because my lips are really, really dehydrated recently because of the weather, I'm going to use my Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. This just really helps to soften my lips and allow easy application of lipstick when it comes to it. It also smells incredible. I don't, I can't think of what it smells like, but it smells amazing. I'm going to put primer on first and I'm going to get started with some of the questions. The primer I'm using is the NYX Honey Jimmy Up just because my skin isn't doing very well at the moment and it's quite oily and this is the only primer, well, one of the only primers I own that actually keep makeup on in my T-zone when it's oily. So I'm just putting that all over my face. You guys know I love this primer a lot. It's really really nice it smells really really fresh and just yeah it keeps your makeup on even if you have got like oily skin like my t-zone gets oily but i can also use this when my skin's just being normal first question is what are your favorite makeup products this i've just got them written down next to me on a piece of paper just because i film on my phone so i couldn't have them on my phone um my favorite makeup products i'm taking that means like specifically what are my favorite makeup products um by the way i'm using my foundation this is the huda beauty I always forget the name of this foundation, like in every video, it's the Faux Filter Foundation. And I'm using my sponge, if I can find it. I'm using the sponge, I can't remember where this is from, I got it, my mum actually got it in a Look Fantastic box, but I'm not too sure where it's from. My favourite makeup products would probably have to be, I really, 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 really love the MAC Mascara. And I feel like mascara makes such a difference to your makeup, so I would say that. That's the MAC in Extreme Dimension found it Foundation Mascara. Um, oh, another one of my favourite products would definitely be the Revolution Pro uh, Brow Pomade. I really, really love that. Like, honestly, I don't think I could live without it now. It's just really, really good and just... It's really cheap as well. It's like £6, which I think is really good. Um, I'll give you like three products because I honestly I won't be able to think of more than that. Final product would probably have to be this foundation or the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I just really really love those foundations. Like I feel like I wear them both on a good skin day and a bad skin day. Like obviously this one is very very full coverage as you can see. But I feel like with the Beauty Blender if I didn't put as much as I have on right now then it would look quite natural, I think. I'm not too sure. I haven't really tried it. But I have worn it on days where my skin is fine underneath. And it still looks nice. doesn't look cakey. Same with the Maybelline 24 hour. But I feel like I can get a more natural look out of that one than I can this one. Because um, it's much more glowy and sets more dewy. Whereas this one sets quite matte. I actually do look like a crazy person when I have first put this on though, to be fair. I'm just blending that in all over my face. I also do have a bun on top of my hair, but I don't mind that. But just in case you see makeup not sitting there, that is why. Now moving on to concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. I'm just popping this under my eyes. And also a bit on my nose and on my chin. I'm not going to put any on my forehead because I have spots on my forehead, so I'll use different concealer there. But just blending that out. Uh, the next question is, favourite makeup look? Um, I would say I quite, I do quite like a natural look, just like flawless base. And then like some mascara, lots of like nice cheap products, so it looks quite natural. And like highlighter and maybe like a nude lip or just a gloss on its own really. But then I do really like just to play around with makeup. Like I like a brown smoky eye. 
I like quite bright looks as well. Like if you on my Instagram, then you'll see like I love to play with bright makeup, as you can probably see from other videos on here as well. But I would say my favourite makeup look. I mean, if we're talking about favourite look to do, it would definitely be like a bright, like cut crease or something like that. But wearing probably a bit more natural. But yeah. A good question because i feel like it's very different like from like wearing to doing it's very different like I, don't, I love doing like a natural makeup look but i find i have more fun when i'm doing a let like a more creative look i'm then just going to use the wet n wild photo focus concealer and corrector i'm just going to put that on the back of my hand just because i have got a few spots on my forehead i'm just going to use my finger to put it on and then blend it out with the sponge just blending it out. I've got a few spots on my forehead, um, but we're just going to cover them with that. I'm now just going to set my T-zoner under my eyes in place. I'm using the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Powder. This is the loose powder. I really, really like this. And before, I really, really like the packaging, but I just find that I can't get any out, like, half the time. But I just put this under my eyes and then around my T-zone, really. We'll answer another question. Plans after I finish school. That's a good one. Um, my plan, as it is at the moment, and I don't think it will change because it's been this way for quite a while now, actually. Um, my plan is to go to uni. I have also applied for, like, apprenticeships that are uni-based. I'm also just powdering down them spots just so they don't move. Um, I've also applied for apprenticeships that are uni-based rather than college-based, so you get a degree at the end of it. How that works is basically they pay off your degree, they also give you a salary, you learn and also work at the same time and then you get a degree at the end of it and most of the time they give you a job at the end of it. Not guaranteed but most of the time they do. Um, but yeah my plan is to definitely go to uni. If I don't get one of the apprenticeships I've applied for then I will just go to uni. I've applied for uni already for UCAS. I have four offers already out of the five I applied for. And I'm pretty sure I know which one I want to go to. Um, and yeah, that's my plan. The plan. Oh, I didn't even tell you what course I want to do. The course I want to do is business management. Some of them vary for the different unis. Some of them vary. So like some of them are like business management with business experience. Another one is like business management with entrepreneurship. But yeah, I really, really like business studies. And I just, I would love to like own my own business one day. Or like just be a business manager, like manage people. Um, so yeah, I decided to do business management. I've done business since year nine, so I must enjoy it if I've done it for two studies. I did it for A-level as well, but well, I'm currently doing it A-level now. Um, but yeah, that's my plan. I'm now going to take a new palette, which I got for Christmas. This is a Too Faced Natural Face pal Palette. I just want to use the two bronzers. I've used them before. I really, really like them. One's got a bit of a shimmer, but it's a bit more like deep undertoned. One's a bit lighter but has no shimmer, so I kind of just mix them together. The matte one is called Sunny Honey, and the bottom one is called Tropic Like It's Hot. And I really, really love these bronzers. I'm very, like, impressed with the pigmentation of the palette. But I feel like every time I, like, put it off my brush, I taste the palette, because it smells nice too, but I can taste it when I'm, like, doing my face. Um, and next question would be, makeup product you couldn't live without. I have an answer for this straight away because I just feel like I could never ever live without this product. It's not a specific like brand, but I could never ever 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 live without mascara. Like some days I will literally just put on a bit of mascara and be done. I just feel like it does something to your face. Like it gives you so much definition and just like makes you look awake. I could literally could not live without mascara. A few of my favorites, if we're looking for specific products, would be, yeah, the MAC in Extreme Dimension. I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, what's another one? I used to look in my drawer. I also love this one. This is the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast. And also, I have two more drugstore ones I like, actually. You guys know I love this one, False Lash Architect. And you guys also know I love The Great, li ooh, the great Lash by Maybelline. Both very, very nice, affordable, but if you're looking for something more expensive, then... Definitely the MAC one or the Too Faced Better Than Sex or a Benefit one. I don't know. I, ha I love mascara. I have so many that I really, really like. 
I'm just going to contour my nose with the matte shade, which is Sunny Honey. I'm just starting at the top near my eye and then blending down to create the shape I wish for. And I'll blend that out with a beauty blender in a minute. Uh, the next question is, what is my dream job? I'm also going to apply blush for answer this question. I'm using the Pink Wink from the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. My dream job would be to own my own business or as you can see this is quite a bright blush but I really really like it I like to start at my temples and blend it down so it's not too pink on my apples and my cheeks um I recently I previously touched on this a little bit but not too much my dream job would be to either own my own business or to manage a business I don't know what business it would be I don't know what business I would make but I don't know something beauty maybe like beauty i don't really know honestly i haven't got a clue but i want to own my own business or manage a business which i feel like would be quite fun i'm really into the idea of that i've always been into the idea of having my own business um not a clue what the business would be in maybe like interior design i've always had my eye on interior design so maybe i would do a course and have my own interior design business or i don't really know like honestly I haven't got a clue yet. I have three years to decide that because I have three years at uni. So yeah, love that it's bright, but it just looks really nice, especially when all your makeup's done. I feel like right now it looks absolutely awful, but when all your makeup's done, it looks amazing. I'm now gonna move on to my brows. I'm using my Revolution Pro Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. I'm gonna answer the question, have I got any goals and dreams for the future? Um, Yeah, I definitely do. And I'm guessing you want to know about them one of my goals is to have my own business as i have said um i'm also really 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 into the idea of owning my own house at a young age like, i really don't want to rent at all like, i'd rather like live with my parents or like family until i have a deposit a deposit saved up for a mortgage and then move out into my own house and all of that um but yeah, I do save at the moment, so I am already working towards my goals. I feel like if you want something really badly, then you'll work for it at a young age. So I do save a certain amount every month and I put it away and I do not touch it. And I won't touch it until the time is right. Yeah, I do have a lot of goals and stuff like that. Like I want to go to uni, obviously past uni um but yeah obviously i want to pass my a levels as also a goal but a nearer goal like that'll be all over in a couple of months but like passing school and uni and stuff like really means a lot to me like i know a lot of people they don't really care but to me it really means a lot to me because i know it can like limit what i want to do in the future and stuff like that but yeah i'm just working towards my goals now rather than later so i can get what i want from life obviously i drive so i want a nice car that's also a goal but just stuff like that really like your normal stuff like own my own house i don't want to wear it but yeah i think that's a very good question um i really really love learning about people's goals and what they want to do in the future and how they're like working now to get there in the future. I think it's very interesting to see how different people's minds works and what different people want from life and stuff like that. The next question, which I guess kind of links on to the question before and previous questions would be, what are you currently studying? I am currently studying business studies, food science and nutrition and hairdressing. Um, yeah, that's all there is to really say really. They're all BTEC, so they're all coursework based. They do have exams for all of them. Two exams for all of them, actually. Yeah, they, they all have two exams. Um, but yeah, business, food science, nutrition and hairdressing. So after this term, well, this last bit of school, I'll be a fully qualified hairdresser and then have a level three in food science, nutrition and business. I'm going to quickly spray my face. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray whilst answering another question um how did i get into makeup to be fair
I would say YouTube is actually the thing that got me into makeup. Like, I was constantly watching like YouTubers like Zoella and like Tanya Burr and people like that. Like I just really, really loved their stuff and how they did their makeup. And I would say that definitely got me into beauty as a whole really and makeup of course. But yeah. Next question would be, what my who are my favourite YouTubers? Um, to be honest, I don't know. I watch a lot of YouTubers. I watch Ellie Darby. I love, love, love Jamie Genevieve. I think she's very, very good. She's very good at makeup as well. Um, I like Brandonio and Erin. Um, I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head, but I watch a lot of YouTube, as you can imagine. Um, I just really, really enjoy it. And it's very fun in my spare time to just watch a bit of YouTube and relax. I'm now going to move on to highlighter. This is again MAC Whisper of Guilt. I love this highlighter. I love a more like gold toned highlighter. As long as it obviously blends in with my skin. But I find that these ones definitely do. Just a bit above my eyebrows, on my cheeks, on my nose, my cupid's bow. And on the other cheek. It's just such a gorgeous highlighter and it's only a mini and I've had this for maybe two years now and it still hasn't touched pan. Touch wood. Final two questions kind of linked together. One is what is your favourite makeup brand and the other is what is your favourite makeup palette? My favourite makeup brand I honestly don't think I could choose. I feel like my favourite high-end makeup brand would be MAC just because they have a wide variety of stuff. I love their foundation, try their lipsticks, eyeshadows, mascara, face products, I love them all. Like, honestly, I haven't got a bad word to say about any of them. But for lower end, it's kind of hard. I feel like I would have to say something like Maybelline or maybe even NYX. But I've never really tried, like, a NYX foundation, no, which is the only thing. And foundation for me is, like, it's the base. Like, it's the thing that makes your makeup look the way it looks. So, I'm not too sure. Maybe NYX or Maybelline. I'm now going to put on a quick coat of my Better Than Sex mascara because we are going to put lashes on today and I'm going to talk to you about the lashes i'm very excited about this product I was kindly gifted them by a girl called lauren she has her own eyelashing business she does eyelash extensions and all of that but she also sells lashes on her website which is very exciting so we're gonna apply a quick coat of mascara and then we're gonna put some lashes on and you guys know how bad i am put i'm push putting lashes on so hopefully this goes well. So first of all, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. They, her brand is called Oso Lash by Lauren. The packaging of just the eyelash in general, like, oh my, it's just really, really nice. I went for quite a natural, but like fluttery lash. These are actually called the Millie Lash, spelt the way I spell my name, which is kind of weird because I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. I just can't go for the packaging really. I really can't um you also get her like cart inside so it just says thank you for your order and supporting my small business don't forget to tag us on instagram with her beautiful selfies and then it has her instagram and her website i will leave them down below in the description box and you also get like a little spoolie to comb through your lashes to make sure they're all blended and stuff and the spoolie is actually really pretty like the top bit is pink and then the bottom bit is like blue gl glitter which is so pretty like usually i just get the plastic ones like for my business, because I do lashes as well, I just have a pink one, a pink bottom and a white top. I am just going to quickly cut these down to size, but I'll do it off camera because that's kind of boring. And then I will be back. They're so pretty though, look. I'm in love already. Hopefully they apply nicely. First of all, I really, really like that they have quite a nice like band. I feel like some bands on eyelashes are really, really thin and they just don't stick to your lashes. I feel like these are really going to stick nicely. To just cut that down to size, I literally end up just cutting off two clusters off the end. I'm just gonna put a bit of glue on them. The glue I am using is the Isla Lash Fix Clear Finish. I didn't actually like this when I started using it, but I feel like it was just the way I was applying the lashes because I actually really do like this lash glue and it does leave my lashes on my lashes all day if I'm wearing lashes. I said lashes so many times just then. Wow, I'm just putting lots of glue on that just so we can stick them properly i need to find my tweezers they feel really really good quality like they feel really really soft so hopefully they look nice on just gonna try and apply that now try and stick the outer corner first 
and then on the inner corner. Guys, I cannot tell you the fear that just ran through me. My camera just cut off, well my phone just cut off completely. Then I went to look for the video and it wasn't there. But it's there now. Anyway, I just applied the first lash and I think I'm in love. It's so like, it pulls your eye out, it makes it look really, really slim and cat eye look. I'm gonna apply the other one off camera and I'm gonna come back and we'll finish our lips and we'll talk about the lashes and I'll tell you more about where you can get them and stuff like that. I'll be back in two minutes. The lashes are both on now. I'm absolutely in love with the shape. You can order these on her website. Um, her website is also lashed by Lauren. I'll put it in the description box below, a direct link so you can go buy your lashes. I'm pretty sure they're £10, but they're amazing quality and honestly, I actually love them. Um, one thing I am going to do is just put a bit of eyeliner in my inner corner and then a bit of glitz and glam in the inner corner as well. I'm just using a Too Faced Burton and Sex eyeliner, but you could literally use any eyeliner. I just want to join it up because I don't really like my lash like, right on my inner corner. So I feel like it's uncomfortable, but I'm literally just going to join it up there just to... Oh, it tickles. Ooh. Just so, yeah, make sure they're joining. And then I'm just going to apply the highlight from the NARS Orgasm palette. This one here, just on my inner corner. Just a little tad, just to open up my eyes a little bit. I just want to say thank you, Lauren, for my lashes. I absolutely love them. Um, they're amazing. All of her stuff will be linked down below. So you can get your lashes when lockdown is lifted. You can go and get your eyelashes done. She does hybrids, Russians and classics, I'm pretty sure. Um, eyelash extensions, by the way. I'm finally going to move on to lips. The lip liner I'm using is the Bobbi Brown Cocoa Lip Liner. And I'm just going to wipe that into my lips just a bit more just because it's a gloss pretty much. And I'm just going to overline my lips. I do overline the bottom one just like so. Not too much, just to add a bit more shape really. And then I join it up. Same on the top. And then what I've been doing is just like putting a bit of lip liner on the inner corners. And then I put a bit of lip gloss and then it all blends in. And if you need any lip liner anywhere else then you can add it. The lip gloss I used was the Iconic London Lip Oil. I think it was just the original one, I'm not really too sure. That's all for today's video guys, I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, go check out Lauren's stuff and check out my Instagram if you do want to be involved in videos like this in the future and I'll see you very, very soon with another video. Bye guys.